Hi everyone, um, welcome to today's tutorial. Um, today we're going to be going over using the website Mutation Taster to insert mutations into a sequence. And we're also going to be building uh, 3D protein structures. Um, if you look at table one right here, I've already compiled a list of mutations for you. Um, today we're going to be working with this one right here, this 136 uh, C to T. Um, to get to Mutation Taster, you can either click on the hyperlink right here in your video guide, or there is a URL that's going to be at the end of the guide, and you can use that. Um, our gene that we that we've been working with is our CYB five R three gene, and we want the ensemble transcript uh, twenty three ninety seven. This one right here. Now, when we were looking at our guide, our mutation is 136 C to T. So in position, we're going to put 136. And in new base, we're going to put a T. And this is a coding sequence. We want to make sure that that is the field selected. And we're going to go ahead and hit analyze. And you can see a whole bunch of data about the resulting effects from this mutation on that gene. Um, what we care about today is this mutated amino acid sequence, and we're going to get to that in just a minute. For now, we're going to go back to our guide, and we're going to scroll down to this hyperlink right here. This will take you to our 3D model building website. Uh, you do have to make an account for this website, but it is completely free. Uh, once you get a, once you make an account and log in, you're going to go ahead and hit this plus button up here. Um, you can name your project whatever you want. Um, we'll name it example one for today. Now what you want to do is you want to go back to your tab for mutation taster and you want to copy and paste that mutated amino acid sequence into the protein sequence field. And you want to make sure that we're using the Rosetta fold model and just to verify you're not a robot, we're going to do a little bit of math. And you're going to go ahead and hit submit. Now this does take a little time to build. Uh, in the meantime, if you go up to structure prediction, you can look at example results to see what a model would look like. As you can see, you have a full 3D model that you can spin around and zoom in on and everything. Uh, when you move your mouse over the model, you can see the exact amino acid at in order in the sequence along with all of the folds in the protein along with error estimates for each uh, amino acid in the sequence and that's all for today